Greetings everyone, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K. My name is Nick and we're looking at a game called International Speedway. It's a motorcycle track based racing game published by Silverbird Software in 1988. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. And the idea of the game is you must work your way up the leagues and then eventually become the true champion. Here's some instructions. It doesn't give too much away, avoid other drivers, don't lean into the corners too much and well, basically win. Fire button to race. Uh, what shall my name be? It'll be Nick, as per always, I wasn't lying. Nationality, what's the point of this? Anyway, I'll be honest, British. I'm not sure this makes any difference at all. Um, it's like a geography test and Britain is in Europe at the moment although we're trying to get out of it maybe we put jet boosters on the island and move it out to the Caribbean um, seems like this is race 2 already I don't know why I'm the white one on the inside and um, no sound to speak of this this seems poor uh, yeah the, the map takes up most of the screen that's not really relevant as far as I'm concerned. There's just black dots going round. Uh, lap counter in yellow and red, you can see in a square. I think we have to do three or four laps. Speedometers to the left underneath. Um, maybe it's going to get better as we go along. Timer ticking up two. Uh, we're in a, an oval sort of like race. Um, I'm yawning already. It's the first race. Right, what position are we in? I don't know. I can't tell what position we're in. We come second, two points. Hooray. Well, that was our first race, but it said it was our second race, but it isn't. Yeah, this looks quite dull. Anyway, maybe it'll get more exciting as we go through. Right, race two, national qualifying. We're third in the league. Right, where am I going to start from this time on the grid? I'm starting second. I don't know if there's an advantage there. Don't crash into your opponents, because that will slow you down. I did a full start then. Go! Now, on some other versions, I read the instructions where you can push the joystick forward for a boost. That certainly isn't working here. I might, Well, I was in the lead, but they overtook me back again. Try not to lean too much. Alright, I'm in the lead now. Keep going. No, I'm not in the lead. Why am I not in the lead? And I've crashed into that chap. All of them the green. I don't like this game. Uh, animation is good of the rumble strip either side, trying to give an illusion of speed. That's the only good thing I can say. Is very very quiet. It's sort of like um, yeah, it's Days of Thunder bad, isn't it? If if you're familiar with that game, I don't know how accurate the counters are going around the map. If they are accurate, that's a good piece of coding. But I'm assuming that they're not. I come second again for two points. That puts me second in the league, one point behind Phil Chapman, and ahead of Jim Baker. Race four. Can you hold the excitement? This is adrenaline rush biking. Uh, 1988, so I could forgive it if this come out in 1983 or 1984, 1988, Silverbird Software should have known a little bit better. Um, it's just the same bend that's coming up each time, isn't it really? This is terrible. If you disagree with me, because I, like, uh, I like hearing your views as well, sometimes I'm a bit too harsh on it because I didn't own this game back in the day, I'm not liking it at all. Um, no sense of different tracks. Uh, from race to race. It's the same oval as far as I'm aware and I don't think it changes throughout the whole thing. It's a sort of game where I I wouldn't bother looking up a poke for it because I know you've pretty much seen the whole game here. There's nothing more to see. Right, we have five races I think in each championship but this is the fourth race now. I start on the outside. Please go fast. So try and keep your eye on the outside dot. I've been left behind I don't know how they got such a good start, so I'm immediately behind. Let's cut in. Don't know if it makes a difference. Probably not. Sometimes my bike seems quicker, sometimes it doesn't. Why are they quicker around the outside for? Speedo is a bit iffy. It's that graph thing, if you spotted that. There's no skill in this at all. It's all pretty much random. Hmm, if a kid got this for their birthday or Christmas, or it's their only game on the ZX Spectrum, they probably wouldn't have stayed with the ZX Spectrum for long. They probably would have left it behind. This is 8-bit gaming. Um, yeah. Have a look at Super Hang-On on the Spectrum instead, I'd say. 
and that's probably around a similar era. It might have even been before. Yeah, this doesn't compare with Super Hang On at all on the Specky. -E. And Enduro Racer is a much better racer than this as well. So I didn't even qualify. Hmm. We'll give it one last go. You can do it on Novice or Professional, but we'll stick to Novice because Professional is just, well, far beyond me at this point. I'll keep pushing forward on the joystick, see if that does make any difference. Um, who should I be this time? I don't know. I'll be slow. Nationality. See, this makes no difference. What's the point of this? Martian will do, and then a continent Mars. Right, or misses. Can I delete that? I sure can. That's not being saved anywhere. That's completely and utterly pointless. Unless it saves the string value, so when you complete it or win, it says, slow from Mars is the champion. Poor, 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 poor. I think there's a 128k version on this. Uh, might play some engine sounds, but it's not going to lift the game a great deal. Look at this display. Uh, the graphic of the uh, the rider with his pro helmet on is quite nice. The graphics above that are acceptable. Gameplay filling half the screen is. It moves sort of fast, but it's terrible gameplay. Terrible collision detection. No fun at all. No sense that you're getting anywhere. Uh, no sense that any skills going to improve. It's like trying to thread the bike through an eye of a needle. The bikes do come past you, go slow, quick, slow, quick. Not enjoyable. Don't like it. Not a fan of this game whatsoever. And I will not be playing it again. Yeah. Um, I've come second there, as I did last time. What do you have to do to win this thing? Buy a gun? Five races. Can you take it? If you press fire button for all lights have gone green, it registers as a full start, but uh, you get another go anyway. Uh, overtaking the um, opponents on the bend is almost impossible. There's no upgrade screen to upgrade the bike anywhere. No real sense of trying to achieve anything because of that. No stats saved. I'm just running off a reel of stuff I don't like. Hmm. Few racing games on the spectrum, but um, ignore this. As I said, if you want looking for a bike racing game, look up Super Hang On and Enduro Racer. Probably a few other bikers as well I've missed, but they were the two best ones. Other ones seem to struggle a little bit. S mm. I want to get out of this review already, but I've got an obligation to review not only the good games, but the bad games too. And you might not think this is a bad game, you might think this is a great game. You might disagree with me, so if you do, let me know why, what am I missing. Or if you agree, then uh, put your comments below also if you think it's poor. It's good to get a good cross-section what everyone thinks, because this isn't just about, although I'm reviewing the game, uh, I call myself a reviewer, uh, I like to encourage forum and debate, I'm not always right, and it's good to get a cross-section what everyone else thinks. Let's get the general view. Just, just see me as a facilitator, or a bad game player, or one of the two. Let me pass, they're not letting me pass, and I struggle again, I lose all speed. Boo! Boo boo, let's get out of here. I can start to think about my dinner now, and what's on television later on, and what better stuff I can be doing. It's the sort of game that you're playing where you at the weekend, and you just hope for Monday to start. That's how bad it is. I'm on the outside. Can I cut in and win and save the day? The answer to that is no. Do your engine sound on the rumble strip? That hasn't slowed me down. Well, it has slowed me down massively. Check out the black dots. Does that mean anything? Lap one. We've been going 18 seconds so far on this amazing race. It's like watching a movie. This isn't too far off virtual reality, is it? Uh, or maybe. Lap 3 we're on all of a sudden. Can I get to the lead on this last ditch effort to rescue the game? No, I don't. Oh dear. I just stop it and pit. Yeah, great. I come third. What does that mean? That means I probably haven't, haven't done anything, have I? You, your riding skills require some polishing. Well, so does your game writing skills. This game's terrible. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That's International Speedway on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Silverbird Software in 1988. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about the game, as per usual, then please put them below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.